Hi everyone! I'm going to be vlogging today and I haven't done a video in a while as Dutch had reminded me <laughs> um, and actually I am in a relapse I'm on methylprednisolone today so today's actually my first day which means that later on tonight I'll probably be scrubbing the toilet bowl because it makes me very very hyper I have that taste in my mouth like uh, you've been sucking on pennies. It's like metallic deliciousness and if you've had it then you know. Um, also you may not know methylprednisolone is the name of the steroid that is um, usually given for relapses and MS and it just helps to speed up the recovery. It doesn't make you recover but it does help speed it up and for me uh, it works quite well. This relapse is mostly sensory. Uh, can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs, can't feel up here, uh, which is strange because I actually keep getting this itch and I try to scratch it and I can't scratch it, which is very, very uh, annoying. Um, from my knee down, I have this feeling of like a tight sock stuck around it. So I, I can walk, but what's strange when I walk is that I don't quite know how I'm walking, which is a really weird feeling. But if you've had that, then you're probably saying, ah, oh, yes, me too. I know exactly what she's talking about. So I feel like this grip is around, especially my knee and around my ankle. So to actually like, flip my ankle up to walk, I feel like some, something's trying to stop it. But alas, I will not be stopped. I walked to the tube station today and I walked to the hospital. So, haha, -ha, MS. <laughs> you shall not win. Um, what else is happening in this relapse? My wrist is not moving right, so my hand shakes a tiny little bit. And uh, because of that, a couple of glasses were broken over the weekend, which um, got me quite pissed off. And that's what prompted me to finally call my nurse and tell her I think something is happening. Um, and I'm also having muscle spasms in my legs at night, which is a joy. Anyone who's had that knows what I'm talking about. So the main thing that I actually want to talk about is not the relapse but it is that I have switched disease-modifying drugs. I had been on Rebif for three years, and now I am on Avanex. And this has been for the past six weeks. Now, if you're thinking that perhaps I'm having a relapse because I switched medications, I actually don't think that's the case. I had a bladder infection a few weeks ago and I always know that when I get a bladder infection it's it's curtains for me usually there's a relapse coming <laughs> even though this time I said no it won't be but uh, it was so anyway um, the main difference between Rebif and Avanex is that Avanex is injected once a week whereas Rebif is injected three times a week but Avanex is injected intramuscularly instead of subcutaneously. So, it's deeper and it's bigger. If you've seen the Avanex needle, uh, you probably have the same reaction that I had when I first saw it, which is... <laughs> <laughs> that was the reaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm on Avanex. I will do a full video as to uh, show you how you inject Avanex. But I'm actually not good enough at it yet, so um, I don't think I'll show you yet because I don't want you to get you know like a close-up view and get some uh, bad ideas because I actually do it a little bit too slowly 
I've got my biscuits already because remember I always say you have to treat yourself. So I just look at that as my end reward. So I've been very busy, um, mostly because my book is about to be published. Um, there'll be a couple of months, so I'll tell you more about that when that comes up. It's called Awkward Bitch, My Life with MS, in case you don't know. And I'm really happy that my friend Antonio Guerra is um, illustrating the cover. He's done an amazing cover for me. And it's a girl uh, with like all her shopping bags kind of falling, not falling, but tripping down the street. <laughs> like me in Mayfair. That's what I look like. So, I might have to be silent while I do this. Et voila! <laughs> it is <laughs> so chic to inject yourself in the muscle. You can make it chic. You know what, you just, just make sure that when you take it out, you say, et voila. It does bleed, by the way, uh, a lot of the time. So don't worry, just, you know, wipe that away casually. <laughs> the reason I had to switch from Rebif is because I started to lose subcutaneous tissue where I was injecting. So even though I switched from my legs to my bum to my arms, what was happening is that especially in the legs I started to get this very slight dip. And if you're on Rebiv, don't get nervous because it may never happen to you. It's just, um, you know, my legs are, pr are pretty skinny and uh, the camera adds 10 pounds, doesn't it? I swear to you, they're, they're much skinnier than this. <laughs> so, I've had the injection. I've told you about why. I'm now opening up my biscuits, as they're called here, or cookies, which they're called in the US. Um, actually, these are called cookies on them, which I don't understand why. Cookies are biscuits here, but this label clearly says cookies. Um, and I'm, I'm confused by that. You know? So I would like to say hi to a few people. I would like to say hello to Agatha. I would like to say hello to Laura. Um, Mary, also, hello. Uh, I'd like to say hello to Johnny in Australia. I'm still completely amazed by the whole picnic at Hanging Rock story. I'm so impressed. Um, and as I told you, it is my dream, 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 dream to go there. Um, amazing. I'm, I'm still amazed, just blown away. Then I would also like to say aloha to Giri. I hope you pronounce her name Giri, and if it's Gary, then please just write me and correct me. I would also like to say hello to Gavin, or uh, Gavoon, as I believe you are known. Um, anyway, just a big thank you to everyone for watching my videos and I do hope that they are helpful and I think it's great that we have this worldwide community of, of people to um, empathize with. That's the word. So thanks again for watching. I'm going to eat my cookies now and um, I will do a video next week which shows intricately how to inject Avanex and that's it. Keep up the fight. <laughs>